Hello guys welcome to the online teaching portal of the catalyst i hope you all are enjoying the basic concepts of chemistry through these video lectures and these concepts shall make a strong foundation for your bright future till our last video part 3 of kvpy 2015 chemistry solutions we have discussed one mark questions up to question number 52 in the present video part 4 of the series we shall discuss concepts regarding chemistry in everyday life electrochemistry both chapter belongs to class 12th and one question which is a combination of structure of atom class 11th and coordination compounds from class 12th syllabus Here is question number 53 in this question we shall discuss about importance of transition metals in our biological system the question is the most abundant transition metal in a human body is a copper b iron c zinc and d manganese now let us first get the idea which transition elements are essential for proper functioning of our biological system heavy metals may be classified into two categories one is essential heavy metals essential heavy metals are needed in very low quantities and are vital to proper functioning of the various biological systems the essential heavy metal includes iron zinc manganese copper cobalt selenium etc the other category is non essential heavy metals they are they occurs in traces in the human body but have been designated as non essential because they are harmless below their threshold level these metals include chromium silicon nickel etc blood is the most important body fluid of human body which consists of hemoglobin a red protein which is responsible for transportation of oxygen in the blood and imparts red color to the blood the most abundant transition metal in human body is iron option b in our next question we shall discuss about kolderos law from electrochemistry chapter of class 12th the question number 54 is the molar conductivities of hcl nacl acetic acid and sodium acetate at infinite dilution shall follow the order the molar conductance at infinite dilution shall be given by the following equation where m and n are the number of ions formed and lambda plus infinite and lambda minus infinite are the molar conductivity at infinite dilution for cation and anion respectively for example if m and n are number of ions then aluminum sulfate would be having twice aluminum plus 3 infinite dilution plus 3 into sulfate infinite dilution and bacl2 will be having ba2 plus lambda infinite plus 2 cl minus lambda infinite in our question molecules under consideration are hcl nacl acetic acid and sodium acetate let us see how these molecules are dissociated in aqueous solution here it is hcl gets dissociated into h plus plus cl ion sodium chloride will get dissociated into na plus and cl ion acetic acid into acetate ion plus h plus and a sodium acetate will dissociate into acetate ion plus sodium plus to answer this question properly one should remember that h plus has exceptionally high value of molar conductance that is 350 units and cl shall have higher value of molar conductance because of smaller size of chloride ions here it is these are the values molar conductance conductance at infinite dilution plus h plus is 349.6 chloride ion ke liye ye 76.3 hai for sodium plus it is 50.1 and for acetate ion it is 40.9 now combining these two the highest value of molar conductance will be for h plus and cl ion conjoining together so first is hcl then h plus and acetate ion which is around 390 then sodium plus and cl ion that is nacl then sodium plus an acetate ion which is sodium acetate the option would be a only hcl then acetic acid then nacl then a sodium acetate option would be a hcl then acetic acid then nacl then sodium acetate as i said earlier the next question is a combination of class 11th and class 12th concepts let us check what this question is all about question number 55 the spin only magnetic moment of zcl42 minus is 3.87 bohr magnetron where z is option a manganese option b nickel option c cobalt and option d is copper in the coordination sphere zcl42 minus the oxidation number of z metal the central metal ion would be plus 2 oxidation number x plus 4 into minus 1 of chlorine is equals to minus 2 the charge over coordination sphere x minus 4 is equals to minus 2 x is equals to plus 
So Zn2 plus is the central metal ion which is having oxidation number of plus two. The spin only magnetic moment is given by the formula mu equals to root over n n plus two, where n is number of unpaired electron. According to question, root over n n plus two is equal to 3.87. Then squaring both sides, we'll get n n plus two is equal to 3.87 whole square, which is approximately equals to 15. Value would be 14.98. N square plus 2n minus 15. We'll take this 15 to the left hand side of the equation, and it is equals to zero. N square plus 5n minus 3n. Now solving it, we'll get two values of n. N is minus 5, which can't it? It can't be. And n is equals to 3. So the number of unpaired electron for this met central metal ion is 3. As plus two oxidation state suggests that four s two electrons from the metal atoms were already taken out, the three unpaired electron could be like vanadium plus three, argon four s two three d three, vanadium two plus would be having argon nucleus and three d three, which would be like d me three electron yaha par unpaired rehenge. As we can see, vanadium is not possible option. Let us move forward for the next possibility of having three unpaired electron in 3d orbital like this. These are the three unpaired electron. So this is the uh, electronic configuration of cobalt, which is 27 atomic number, having argon nucleus and 4s2 3d7. 4s2 ke do electron nikal jayenge when cobalt is plus two oxidation state. It is argon and 3d7, which is the electronic configuration of cobalt, and the desired answer is C. C cobalt is the right answer. In the next video, we shall discuss about mutual rotation of glucose, an interesting concept. One tricky question each of pH and Markovnikov's addition reaction, respectively. We shall also discuss heart of arom aromatic reaction, the diazonium salt, and a short but most sought after concept of solid state the defects in crystal towards the end of this video i would request all viewers to subscribe like and share each and every contribution will help us to improve till then practice some more question and do share your feedback thanks a lot